Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Ah, now I can. I couldn't put this in. Let me see if I can share it. Okay. We will have the second part of section two today. Okay, section first, excuse me. How was your day? Good? Very busy. Very busy. What do you do for a living? ¿En qué trabaja? Auxiliar. Auxiliar? ¿De qué? De cátedra. Ah, okay. You work at a university. Yes, the University of El Salvador. Oh, nice. I never had an assistant in in the National University, and I had groups of uh, 100 people. <laughs> I have a Magna's uh, classrooms and a lot of people, a lot to to check and grade. But I really enjoy when I was in, in National University giving classes because I know it, it is more my people. <laughs> okay, because they're the ones who really want to become somebody and they have to make a big effort in order to be there. I I do the exams in order to get into the university and I pass, but my mother didn't let me to get into the National University because I get out from I finished my high school in 1985. <laughs> so it was the most dangerous time to get into the university. <laughs> but at the end, I worked there and it was a nice experience. The students asked me what, what was my side. And I say, I am in your side. And they say, but we already have done breaks and you didn't take them. The teachers go on strike and you didn't support them. The administration got into strikes and you didn't support it. And I say, well, that's why I say I'm on your side. But when we get a strike, you didn't support us. He say, yes. Do you think that not giving you classes is a way to support you? And then they say, no, okay. When the teachers go to strike, I don't support them because yes, I have rights. And up to now they haven't paid me. Then I should be in a strike. But when I get my groups here at the university, I feel that my responsibility is with my groups. And you have rights also. 
and I won't put my right before all your rights. And if you think that not giving you classes is a, a way to support you, let me tell you that you are very wrong. And I won't go to support uh, administration's um, strikes because they even haven't paid me. So I don't have any reason to go to strike. <laughs> and then nobody say anything to me because I, I, I didn't support any of the strikes they were on, on the time. When I was given classes, I always give a class, even when they were in uh, on strikes. When they had the administration strike, I keep I I was waiting for my students uh, in front of the classroom because it was locked. And then I wait for all of them to get in. And then all together we went to look for a classroom where I can give them the class. But I still give the class because some were locked, but some uh, were not uh, uh, did not have a lot. So we can get into and give the class. And now the university looks very beautiful. I I look. Uh, how how they made the, the the buildings for the for the tournament and they also uh, do something with the rest of the university am i wrong no the university in general has even painted or not the buildings of the university, they give them maintenance or not? Hello, you haven't been to the university? Daisy, you haven't been to the university? Yes, I, I do. And it, it it has maintenance in all the buildings or not? Le dieron mantenimiento a todos los edificios o no? Yes, yes, okay. for sure. I guess that it should be very beautiful by now. They are. <laughs> they are for sure. Um, and I am studying in and the what, and, and university. What, what the 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 university uh, administration will do with the with the new buildings? You don't know. You don't have any idea. No saben para qué van a usar los edificios nuevos. They are going to open new careers for new students. I thought that they could leave it as apartment things because they have showers and all that. And the university has students that come from other parts of El Salvador. Maybe the university can start getting uh, students from other uh, other parts of the world. And then they, they may uh, give them a place to live there, I guess. It could be a... a, a like like most universities in the United States that they provide where where to live because the the buildings are for for living they have even beds and if they want to get uh, to make them uh classrooms where they will put all those beds I guess that it will be much better if they leave it as a campus to live in and, and offer careers for other parts of the world. 
taking us for some amount of money in order to 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 live in the campus could be a, could be nice okay let's see how many people is here now i cannot see could you tell me how many more than 20 I am talking about the National University because the uh, for the for the sports events they have built a, um, a kind of campus to live in uh, different buildings but those are not the ones that they already have, they, uh, those were uh, new, new uh, buildings. Yes, Dennis? Dennis, you raise your hand. Yes, uh, I just want to say I became from the University of El Salvador, Universidad de Salvador, and I, and I was, mm, in the AGU, Asamblea General Universitaria, and I heard about it. Uh, these buildings uh, uh, are building uh, in the future for for receive um, for students from El Salvador. From it, 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 they they like will be campus, apartments. Like, they will be apartments. Yeah, yeah it's like better campus. that way. Because they can to, use to everything that the is United there States. already. It's, it's a nice a nice thing. Thank you. Now I was I was right to tell that if they have a, a, a new buildings there that can be used as uh, Apartments is better to live it that way than making classrooms because they don't have desks, they have beds. <laughs> okay, let's check on the knowledge check that we had. Have you worked on it? Hubo gente que me dijo que no pudo hacer las actividades porque no las encontraba. Entonces, sí, hay videos, todos estos son videos, pero los ejercicios están aquí, donde están los lapicitos. Esos son los ejercicios. Ok, entonces usted entra ahí, lee y contesta. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Entonces, entre todos vamos a contestar. Eh, somebody to read eh, the instructions, please. Hello. Okay. Um, okay match the, match the clause with appropriate information. Choose the best answer. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, somebody to read number one. By the time I was fifteen. Okay. Which do you think is the right answer? I will read them, all of them for you. And all of them are the same for all the, the, the questions. So you can, you can try to keep them in mind and then we will choose uh, better. I didn't appreciate my own country. I began to understand the value of money. I learned how to communicate better. I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. I had learned how to take care of myself. I learned how to get along better with people. I have never saved 
any money. I hadn't understood the importance of good health. Okay. What do you think that happened by the time I was 15 of all these things? Just one answer. I uh, I think it's, I had le learned how to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. And have... what about this? I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Maybe, maybe yes. Could be. Okay. Eh, ¿Cuál creen que es los demás? Estamos entre esto y esto. Um, I'm agree with I had learning. How to take care of myself. Okay. Now, number two. Somebody to read number two? Dennis? Until, until I started working part time. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the right answer? Uh, I had I never. Had never... Say I One say I had never. I have, I never, have saved never saved any money. Save any, any money. And what about number two? This one. I began to understand the value of money. No. No? no. Which no. of which I have, do you think? I have I never saved, saved saved any money. Okay, I had never saved any money. Okay. Uh, the moment I got my first paycheck, I began to understand I... the value, the value of money. Okay, I began to understand the value of money. Thank you. Now, somebody to read number four. As soon as I've left home. Uh-huh. Well, that I wasn't a share any money anymore. Do you think it's this? In my case, I think the right answer is I didn't appreciate my own country. I didn't appreciate my own country. I, I think, think I, I think no I I, 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 I as soon as I left my home I think it is I I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. And what about I had learned how to take care of myself when you left home. You had to take care of yourself. You are not your mommy's child anymore. Well, you say, I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Once I started sharing an apartment. I learned I how learned to how get along better yeah. with people. I learned how to get along better with people. Now, number six. I learned how to communicate better. Well. After I began a relationship, I learned how to communicate better. Okay. Nice that you think that communicate is good with the relationships. To tell you the truth, that's why I got divorced. Not from the lack of other things, but from the lack of communication. Okay, number seven. Didn't appreciate I didn't appreciate my own Before I traveled abroad, I didn't appreciate my own country. Okay, 
Now number eight. I, I, I have have learned how to take care of myself. Okay, no, let's sir. check. No, no, no. No. The I hadn't understand. I hadn't understood Less. the importance of good health. Yes. Ah, okay. Let's check. It, let's check again because Okay, now again, somebody to read the, the question and the answer. Uh, but the time I was 15, I had learned how to take care of myself. Okay, thank you very much. Now, number two. Until I started working part time, I have never spent any money. Okay, thank you. Number three, everybody agree with, with the answers? Yes. Yes, okay. Number three. The moment I got my first pay paycheck, I began to understand the value of money. Okay, the value of money. Number four. As soon um, as... Go ahead. As soon as I left home, I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Okay. Number five. Once I started sharing an apartment, I learned how to get along better with people. With people. With people. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, number six. After I began a relationship, I learned how to communicate it better. Okay, thank you very much. Now, number seven. Before I traveled abroad, I didn't appreciate my own country. Okay, thank you. Now, number eight. Noemi, Alicia? Until I got really sick, I hadn't understood the importance of good health. Okay, let's check. Yes, you are right. Okay, let's see the other one. Eh, acuérdense que si no lo han contestado, ahorita pueden tener su plataforma ahí, lo contestando con los que, como lo que acabamos de hacer. ¿Ok? Entonces vamos con el listening. Permítanme, porque tengo que hacer esto. Si no, no lo vamos a escuchar bien. Page 74. Exercise 4. Listening. Important events. Part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. 1. Sally One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. Uh-huh. Uh, first, can you listen well? Yes, I do. ¿Pueden escucharlo bien? Okay. Yes, yes, I can. yes, we do. Okay, and what was uh, Sally's uh, turning point? 
She learned in she Spanish. She learned Spanish. She learned the Spanish. Okay, let's finish the listening. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Okay, now number two. two. Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. Okay, what was his turning point? He and his brother went to different colleges. Different colleges. College. Different, college. Different, college. different college. Okay, college is like university for us. Okay? But in college, you have more technical careers. So, I mean, uh, shorter careers. That you can go there for uh, three or less years. And university is for five or more, okay? Now. Three, Debbie. I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. What was her uh, turning point? She was the she top, was top student, student in her class. class. Student class. Okay, thank you. Now listen again. Well, let's see. Page 74, exercise four, part B. Listen again. What do these three people have in common? One, Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. Okay. What was the other one? Feel proud of. Felt proud of. Okay. Proud of. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. Okay. Here, what is the answer? 
became, became more confident, confident and independent. independent. Became more confident and independent. Okay. Now let's listen. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. Cuando suceda eso, siempre voy a regresar. No se preocupe. Eh, yo, eh, okay. Siempre la, la plataforma esta Zoom siempre da problemas. Yo no sé por qué no, no cambia. Hay que cantarle, hay que cantarle. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? <laughs> you are very funny. <laughs> ok. Siempre hay que llegar el lado positivo de todo. <laughs> sí, no, yo sé. Pero sí, ustedes no se preocupen. Yo siempre voy a hacer todo lo posible por regresar a ustedes. Ok. okay. Now, let's, let's continue listening, Debbie. Okay, became a lot more outgoing. Do you know what what means uh, look up to me? Mirarme. Eh, no, eh, o sea, se podría decir que es algo así, pero es como admirar. O sea, look up es como, como cuando usted tiene, digamos, eh, a alguien uh, como un héroe o un, una persona este una personalidad a quien usted admira entonces ese es look up por ejemplo hay muchas personas aún aquí en Panamá que eh, admiran a nuestro presidente Nayib Bukele y para serles honesta, yo me siento bien hueca. <ríe> en la no, universidad. Hay que cantarles entonces para entender. Ay, mira, hero. <ríe> cuando, cuando, cuando yo estaba estudiando en la universidad aquí, en la Universidad Interamericana, cuando comencé, que era en 2018, este, las personas así, ¿verdad? Hablando de las maras, de las maras y de las maras. Cuando al fin Nayib Bukele eh, participó en las presidenciales y subió a, a la presidencia y empezaron a ver la diferencia, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya sentí yo que ya me miraban diferente. Entonces, este, sinceramente, a la gente que vivimos lejos del Salvador, eh, se nos está tratando diferente a causa del presidente. ¿Verdad? Y entonces es, es otra cosa que agradecerle. ¿Verdad? Yo sé que al principio no era monedita de, del gusto de mucha gente. A, a mí me tocó sacar la cara por él muchas veces. Pero ahora, incluso la gente que me atacaba por el presidente, se han dado cuenta de todas las cosas buenas que, que él está haciendo. Y la cosa es que, para serles honestos, cuando yo me fijé en él la primera vez, fue cuando él se puso a pelear en contra de su partido, porque le querían quitar los, el pozo que él había abierto para la comunidad en Nuevo Cuscatlán. Te dije yo, ese es un político diferente. O como dicen, por la manzana. No, ese de la manzana fue bien después. Y le voy a decir una cosa. Antes de que él llegara a ser alcalde de San Salvador, yo me estuve comunicando con él en Facebook. Y yo le decía, yo sé que usted va a ser el alcalde de aquí de San Salvador, aunque usted diga que no quiere serlo. Porque él al principio no quería ser el alcalde de San Salvador. 
pero yo le decía, pero no corra por el FMLN. O sea, usted no va a congeniar ni con el FMLN, ni con ARENA, ni con ninguno de los partidos que ya existen, porque todos estos son corruptos. Mejor haga su propio partido. O sea, se podría decir que Nuevas Ideas es mi idea. <risa> porque desde antes desde que él llegara a la alcaldía de San Salvador, yo le estaba diciendo que hiciera su propio partido y que lo hiciera con gente que no tuviera pasado político. Ahí no me hizo caso. Teacher, él dejó que entrara chicha y telepate a, a nuevas ideas y no era así la cosa. Dígame. Teacher, excuse Dígame. me, it would be better if we continue with the class yes, yes. and let the political stuff aside. Yes, you are Please. right. Teacher, yes. I, I, And back again. Okay. Now, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Las raíces de la educación son amargas, pero el fruto es dulce. Yo no sé por qué dicen que las, que las raíces son amargas, porque sinceramente, bueno, por lo menos yo, como, como yo veo la educación, para mí la educación debe de ser divertida. <risa> ¿Verdad? Pero es que, es que lo está diciendo Aristóteles, y ellos eran de los que educaban a palos. ¿Ok? But for me, eh, education, you have to look for education, look up to be educated. O sea, yo no entiendo a la gente que no le gusta la educación, que no le gusta leer, que no le gusta aprender, porque para mí todos los días debemos de aprender. What do you think about it? ¿Qué piensan ustedes? Sí, es que, es que fíjese que para mí, la educación no solo debe de ser como una herramienta para llegar a un fin, sino que debe de ser una forma de vivir. O sea, porque usted todos los días va a aprender algo. Incluso, qué sé yo, cómo alimentarse mejor, eh, cómo convivir con otros. O sea, porque no sé si ustedes lo saben, pero la educación, o sea, la, la IQ is not enough. You have also to have emotional intelligence. O sea, la inteligencia emocional to have a balance in life. Okay, now, uh, somebody to read the lesson objective for this class, please. Teacher. Yes. Uh, Dennis, tenía una pregunta. ¿De qué? Perdón. El compañero Denis tenía una pregunta. Ajá, dígame. And back to you again. What was the question, Denis? Go ahead. Go ahead. What was the question? No, tell me. I, I was wondering if you're uh, living here in Salvador or No, I live I live in Panama. But my heart is in El Salvador. Okay, but okay. I live here okay. in Panama. From Panama, I am giving the class. Are you still there with me? Yes, Amira. No se mira. Sí, eso estoy viendo que no se pone verde. Ya, 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 ya se mira, ya. Ya, ok. Sí, es que son de problemas. Ok. In this class, participants will learn adjectives for discussing behavior and personality. Fíjense que aquí no se me mira verde todavía, por eso no sé. Alejandro, dígame. What are you doing in Panama? I live in Panama Oeste. That means before the, the, the canal. What are you doing? What are you doing, teacher? Excuse me. Here 
I am suffering. Are you studying Panama or are you I, I living am suffering in Panama? here in Panama. <laughs> I live in Panama since uh, my my family. Okay, again with you. Right. Okay, uh, uh, my family came here in 2017 and leave me alone in El Salvador uh, until I sell everything from our house. We have been living there in, for 50 years in the same house. And I had problems with with the Maras because I, I was a, a teacher at public school and I didn't let them uh, to traffic uh, drugs at my school and that's why I was like in the view okay and for those years I had my my children in the same school where I was working. And then my brother take them out from there because I had problems with the Maras. And he was paying them a private school uh, in El Salvador. And then he decided to take them here in Panama because here in Panama, we, don't, we didn't have the problems we had in El Salvador. And I had to be, stay at uh, in El Salvador for a year, almost a year. And then I came here after we born all the bridges in El Salvador. Okay. okay. But I suffer. I suffer for my country. I love my country. I, I I can I I do I didn't feel the same here. That's why I'm giving classes at least online to keep in touch with my people. Okay, they, okay. you are Thank the you, oasis teacher. for me. Ustedes son un oasis para mí. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I I, <laughs> I I have studied here, I have a master's degree. Um, oh. university uh, education, but yeah, uh, I still love my country. Okay, my brother said that okay. I am not getting paid well for these classes for this course, but I say yes, but I love it. <laughs> Is I, I am not giving class because of the money. I'm giving class because I love it. And I love my people. Okay, now, uh, listen and repeat. Ambitious. 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 Si ustedes se dan cuenta, esa T suena como que fuera S. Ambitious. Ambitious. Argumentative. 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 Carefree. 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 Okay. Sorry. That is Zoom. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay. Carefree. 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 Conscientious. 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 Nave. Nave. Pragmatic. Pragmatic. Uh, pragmatic. 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 Revilious. 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 Sensible. 
Sensible. Sensible. Sophisticated. 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 Este, estos que han puesto, hay varios que son bastante parecidos a, a, a lo que es español. Por ejemplo, ambitious, ambicioso. Argumentative, argumentativo. Este carefree, o sea que como que no le da mucha importancia. Conscientious, o sea, es alguien consciente. Naive, este sí, eh, no hay algo parecido en español eh, en el nombre, pero ya vamos a ver qué significa. Pragmatic, pragmático, ¿verdad? Rebellious, es como rebelde. Sensible, sensible. Sophisticated sofisticado. Entonces, eh, yo les puse aquí las, eh, ¿cómo se llama? The, meaning. La, the meanings, ¿verdad? Se lo busqué para cada uno. Entonces, aquí está, ambitious, having a desire to be successful, powerful, or famous. ¿Verdad? Now, repeat after me, ambitious, ambitious, ambitious. Having a desire, having a, having a desire, desire to be successful, to be successful, successful powerful, 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 or famous, or famous. Argumentative, 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 having or showing a tendency, having or showing a tendency. To disagree or argue. To disagree or argue. argue. With other people. With, with, with other, other, people. other people. In an angry way. In, In an, an angry way. way. Carefree. 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 Having no worries or troubles. Having no worries or troubles. Conscientious. Conscientious. Meticulous. Meticulous. Careful. Careful. Governed by. Governed by. Or conforming to the dictates of conscience. Or conforming to the dictates of conscience. O sea, este se podría decir que sería el opuesto a carefree. ¿Ok? Yeah. okay. Naive. Naive. Artless. Artless. Ingenious. Ingenious. Deficient in worldly wisdom. Deficient in worldly wisdom. Worldly wisdom. Oh. O sea, que es alguien que le cuesta expresarse eh, sabiamente. O sea, eso es naive. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Now, pragmatic. 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 Practical. 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 As opposed to idealistic. As, As opposed, opposed to, to idealistic. idealistic. Rebellious. Rebellious. Resisting treatment or management. Resisting treatment or management. Refractory. Refractory. Sensible. Sensible. Perceptible to the senses. Perceptible to the senses. Or to reason or understanding. Or to reason or understanding. Sophisticated. Sophisticated. Having a refined knowledge. Having a refined knowledge of the ways of the world. Of the ways of the world. Cultivated. Cultivated. Especially through white experience. Especially through white experience. Aquí yo, yo decidí ponerles los, los significados porque no es lo mismo 
aprenderse los adjetivos así out of nowhere que ya tener como una definición, ¿verdad? Y se las pongo en inglés porque tienen que eh, conectarlas inglés inglés, ¿ok? Now, in the discussion box, they are asking you if you can tell us how did you behave in your teens. Aquí el behave es con A. Permítanme. Como le digo, este, este mi, mi computadora tiene, tiene complejo de, tiene complejo de, de cómo se llama, de smartphone, permítanme. Y me corrige mientras yo voy escribiendo, algunas veces no me doy cuenta. Okay. And how did you behave in your teens? How did you behave in your 20s? And how did you behave now? Well, in my teens, I were, believe it or not, I was very, uh, introverted when I was in my teens and I was very tall and I was big because I I, I have almost the same uh, body since I was 11 but I was very shy and introverted then in my 20s I was extroverted and I didn't let anybody to get over me. <laughs> o sea, ya no me dejaba de nadie. <laughs> and how I behave now? Well, I continue being like in my 20s. <laughs> I don't like uh, anybody to take advantage of me. And I have learned to put the people in their places without getting angry. O sea, les, de, les, de, les detengo el carro a la gente sin yo enojarme y poniendo los puntos sobre las sillas. ¿Verdad? Que con, considero que es lo mejor. Por ejemplo, no sé si hay aquí gente que esté estudiando para abogado, pero si usted va a estar estudiando para abogado y usted va a litigar, y usted se enoja, ahí ya perdió. ¿Verdad? Por eso eh, el, el señor este, el, el abogado de, de, de arena, eh, Portillo Cuadra, yo creo que él nunca ha sido un litigante, porque con así como es él de, de, de explosivo, que por nada se... Ok, again. If you are going to, to, to be a lawyer and litigate, you cannot get angry. O sea, usted tiene que mantenerse ecuánime. Even the people that get into politics, if they lose their temper, they are finished. Cuando usted, porque cuando usted se enoja, no piensa correctamente. No sé si ustedes se han fijado que muchas veces usted se enoja y empieza a decir cosas y después hasta se arrepiente de lo que dijo. Por eso, porque no conviene hablar cuando uno está enojado. Entonces es mejor calmarse, relajar. <risa> Sorry. Pero tampoco no, les estoy no, diciendo no, no. que eso signifique que usted se va a dejar abusar, no. Pero usted puede poner a la gente en su lugar sin usted perder los estribos. Y se lo digo porque yo lo he hecho. Ok. Now, I will read this. Lesson Objective 1.8. By the end of this class, 
participants will learn, understand, and practice expressing regrets in hypothetical situations with should have plus the past participles and if clauses. Okay. Okay, back again. Now, expressing expressing regret. Repeat after me. I should have studied something more practical. No, I'm not going to check it out. Y ahora? No, no. de una jovencita muy bonita. Permítanme, voy a detener esto y voy a volver otra vez. Okay. What about now? Todavía no. 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 Ay, es que no estaba ni siquiera recording. Este Zoom sí que nos ha dado problemas, ¿no? Mañana vamos a entrar más temprano, hoy, a este, 10 minutos antes, okay. por si nos da problemas esta cosa. Okay. Permítanme. Ay, ay, ay. We have to continue the class. Thank you. Thank you. Because you are very kind to wait for me so long. And if you are not, if you can give me some extra time, I can be here with you as well. ¿Me pueden regalar un poquito más de tiempo? Sí, teacher. Ok. Yeah. Sí, porque ya ven pues, estos problemas de Zoom. My expressing regret. Todavía no se ve, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Yes. ¿Ya ya se ve? Ok. Yes, teacher. Repeat, please. Expressing regret. <risa> <risa> yo, yo creo que I mejor lo voy, a, lo voy a contar por Google Meet. <risa> ok, teacher. Yes. Hay que cantarme. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I should have studied when I was in college. When I was in college. I shouldn't have waited. I should have so long to choose a major. So long to choose a major. Okay. Ese, ese major es como cuando usted eh, escoge como una especialización, ok. Now, hypothetical situation. Esta es hipotética. If I been more ambitious in college, if I in college, I could have learned another language. I, I no have learned another language. Aquí hay varios, varios problemas, pero después lo voy a corregir. If I hadn't was wasted so much money last year, I I could have my own apartment now. I, I, I could have my own apartment now. now. Oh, vale, estas son, estas son, este, if clauses, pero son hipotéticas, o sea, son eh, cosas que 
no sucedieron, pero ¿qué hubiera sucedido si hubiese sido diferente? ¿Ok? Son situaciones hipotéticas. ¿Verdad? Y ahí están diciendo, están expresando también el regrets. ¿Verdad? Si hubiera sido más ambicioso en, 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 en la universidad, pude haber aprendido otro idioma. Si no hubiera gastado tanto dinero el año pasado, podría tener mi propio apartamento ahora. ¿Verdad? En the discussion box, eh, can you put yourself in these hypothetical situations? If you would, este es con D, if you would save the money, ¿verdad? Si usted, si usted eh, guardara dinero, ¿verdad? If you'd learn English before, si usted hubiera aprendido inglés antes, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué, qué hubiese sucedido si usted hubiera eh, ahorrado dinero y si usted hubiera aprendido inglés antes? Y está el knowledge check, eh, ¿lo dejamos para mañana? ¿O lo terminamos hoy? Hello. Corazón. Eh, si sí, hacemos el knowledge check ahorita o si lo dejamos para mañana. Yo diría que lo dejaremos mañana, teacher, que se le esté conectando. Mucho. Vaya, perfecto. Digo yo, desde mi punto de vista, no sí, sí, comparto. sí. No, pero es que el, el Zoom este, peor desde Panamá para El Salvador. <risa> Bien, entonces, see you tomorrow. Eh, mañana hacemos el knowledge check y, el, y, y hacemos el, este creo que es otro knowledge check, es un listening ok, y de okay. todos hey. modos ustedes eh, trabajen por su cuenta y yo creo que hoy ya se dieron cuenta dónde es que están y cómo va quedando, miren, como ya hicimos estos knowledge check ya se va chequeando con verdecito aquí, ustedes asegúrense que siempre se les chequee eso en verde para que les vaya eh, eh, chequeando lo que es el progreso si nos fijamos aquí en el progreso vaya, si nos fijamos aquí en el progreso ya vamos subiendo un poquito ¿verdad? entonces conforme ustedes vayan trabajando se va a ir subiendo lo que es el progreso ¿verdad? ya está hecho ok, se me cuidan corazones nos vemos mañana eh, vamos a entrar 10 minutos sí, antes buena. por cualquier problema. Okay. Okay? Okay. See you. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.